Hello, my name is Platoon. I am 10 year old and I like to program. I started to learn Python. You can find videos in my channel there, but today I decided to start something new. Today I'll be creating a, two, a series about making a 2D platformer game in a game development software called Unity. In this game we'll be able to run, jump, collect coins, and proceed through levels. If you want to create your own similar 2D game, you can join me on this journey. In this video, we'll learn how to download Unity. We'll also learn how to create a project for a game in Unity. And we'll learn some basic features about Unity. So let's get started. First of all, we need to download Unity. To download Unity, it's fairly simple. First, you need to go to unity.com. Unity.com. It'll open a page something like this. There'll be two buttons, Get Started and Learn More. Click Get Started. This will open up a page like this. Here's where, you can here's where you can choose your Unity version. Some versions of Unity are free, and some are pricing. Click Individual, and underneath Personal, click Get Started. You will see this page. There will be two options, first-time users and returning users. Under first-time users, Click Start here. Read the terms and click Agree and Download. I already have installed Unity, so I'm going to fake click the button. But for you, when you're installing Unity, it will ask you to do a couple more steps, such as creating a Unity account and maybe even watching a video about Unity. Once Unity is downloaded, it will open up an application called Unity Hub. Unity Hub is where you can access all your Unity projects. Here's what my screen looks like. Yours may have a project in the project section. But I deleted all my projects, so I don't. But before we can create a project, we need to make sure we have a Unity version. I don't have a Unity version, so I'm going to click Add. You can choose the Unity version. I'm going to choose Unity 2020.1.6. We'll click Next. And it's going to ask me to add models to my install. Since I'm using a Mac, I'm going to add Mac build support. You can maybe even add Linux or iOS or Windows. And I'm also going to add WebGL build support. WebGL build support is basically allows you to upload projects, your games, to the web. So then I'm going to click Done, and it'll start installing a Unity project. This may take a while, so hang in there. Once you installed your Unity version, click Projects, and click New. We're going to add a new project which is basically a new game. I'm going to click 2D. I'm going to name my project my I'm going to name my project, hmm, what should I name it? Let's name it a little platform. And click I'm going to look at its location. It's on a good location. I'm going to click Create. And it'll start creating a Unity project. I'll see you back when it's done. Once your project has been created, it'll open up a window something like this. You'll notice in the middle of the window, you'll see a screen like this. You'll notice I can zoom in and out. If I click the Option key, I can do this. This is called a scene. The scene is the place where you can place your game elements. 
tune your game. Here is the hierarchy. The hierarchy is is where all the game elements are. Tells you all where the, take, tells you where all the game elements are. I click main camera. Here is the inspector. The inspector is the place where you can edit the a game elements, a game element. Here is where your project is. Your project is where your all your assets are stored. If I click console, this will this is the console. And the console is basically where it all is basically where warnings come up. We'll learn a bit more about this in the next video. But for now, that's all for today. In the next video, we'll learn a bit more of Unity's basic structures. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure to leave a th thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss my next video. See you. Bye.